When it comes to preschool math, counting comes to mind immediately. But is counting the only important math skill? Of course not. Turns out there are 10 basic math skills that preschoolers need to know before they enter primary school. If you are not sure what they are, don't worry, I've got you covered in this video. Hi everyone, my name is Finn. I am a former math and science teacher from Singapore, mother of three who loves staying at home with my children because there is just so many fun things to do with them at home. So my channel is all about sharing my best ideas, tips and resources to help you create the best home for your children to learn, play and grow. So if you are a parent, subscribe to my channel and keep on watching this video. One interesting thing about learning math is that it is hierarchical in nature. This means that math skills and concepts, they have to be learned in a particular sequence. So all the basic math skills and concepts that your preschooler learns now in their early years are going to lay the foundation for learning the more advanced math skills in the future. And you might be thinking, what are the basic math skills I am referring to? Now in this video, I'm going to share the 10 basic math skills that your preschooler needs to know before they enter primary school. And I'm also going to share some simple activities so that you can teach your children these basic math skills at home. Skill number one is matching. This is the ability to see similarities in things like the sizes, the shapes, the colors and match these similar things together. For example, when children stack blocks of the same colors together, they are doing matching. Skill number two is sorting. This is the next step after matching. And for sorting, children need to be able to see how objects are the same or different and group them accordingly. For example, when your children look at these blocks, they may choose to group them according to shapes or colors. Skill number three is comparing. We can compare properties like size, which block is bigger or which block is smaller, or length, which pencil is longer, which pencil is shorter, or quantity, which sets of blocks has more or which sets of blocks has less. Skill number four is ordering. Now this is the next step after comparing. So children look at a group of items, they compare the items and put them in a particular order based on the property. For example, length, they can arrange the pencils from the shortest to the longest. Skill number five is patterning. And the patterning involves the ability to see repeated patterns. So for example, red, yellow, red, yellow, this is a repeating pattern. And the next color is gonna be red. This is what we call the ABAB pattern. There are other repeating patterns too, like the AAB, ABC, and AABB patterns. Before I go on to share math skills 6 to 10, let's jump into a quick printable activity. Now this Kapak Math Activity 1, this is a great one for your children to learn and practice basic math skills 1 to 5. You can grab this printables over at HP Printable website and I have the link for you in the description below. If you have been watching my videos, I'm sure you can tell that I print so many printables for my children every day. So it is just amazing that I never run out of ink. And this is all thanks to this HP Instant Ink subscription service that I signed up for with my printer. With this ink subscription service, my HP printer will send a notification to HP to order ink cartridges and have them delivered to my home whenever it is low on ink. You definitely want to check out their 3 months free trial of this HP Instant Ink subscription service and you can find all the details in the link below. Let me show you how this Kabak Math Activity 1 works right now. In this activity, children sort the vehicles according to their sizes. Then they match the colors of the vehicles to that of the parking lots and place the vehicles in the correct spots. Through this simple printable activity, children practice and learn so many of the math skills like sorting, matching, and ordering. Skill number six is counting. Now there are two types of counting, rote counting and one-to-one -one correspondence counting. Rote counting is the basic level counting and it involves children recalling and reciting the number names in sequence like one, two, three, four, five. After rote counting, children will progress to one-to-one -one correspondence counting. 
and this involves children connecting a physical number of items to the number names. So for example, two means two markers. Now I have created an entire video about counting and how to encourage your children to count. You can find the link to this counting video in the description below. Skill number seven is the understanding of part-whole relationship. And what this means is that children, they are able to see that four markers can be made up of two markers and two markers or one markers and three markers. Now this simple concept is the foundation for children to learn higher order operations like addition and subtraction in the future. Skill number eight is subitizing and this is the ability to recognize a number of objects without actually counting them. So for example, if you look at the dice, you are able to see that this is number four without actually counting the number of dots. Skill number nine is the ability to identify and name basic shapes like circle, rectangle, square, and triangle. The last important math skill is spatial awareness, which is knowing directions, positions, movements, or relative positions of people or objects to each other. For example, when building with blocks, children can tell which block is going to fit into a particular space. Or children are able to say things like, this yellow block is on top of the blue block. There you have it, these are the 10 basic math skills for your preschoolers. And now I have a second printable activity to share with all of you. This is Car Park Math 2 and this is a great activity for your children to practice one-to-one -one correspondence counting, part-hole relationship and subitizing. Now you can grab these printables over at HP Printable website. The link is in the description below and let's jump into this activity right now. In this second activity, children match the numbers on the vehicles to that on the parking lots. As they place each car in each square, get your children to count along and practice one-to-one -one correspondence counting. To help your children understand part-whole relationships, you can partially fill up the spaces and invite your child to fill in the rest of the empty spaces. This helps your children see that one and three cars make four cars. To practice subitizing, you can place the vehicles in random groups of two and three cars. Then ask your child to pick up all the groups with two cars without counting. Then ask your child to pick up all the groups with three cars without counting. He or she is doing subitizing here. I create and share many of these printables activities over at Happy Top Shelf blog because when it comes to learning these important math skills, these concrete print materials and hands-on activities, they are wonderful to help your young children understand and internalize these math skills. Before I end this video, I just want to share a few more easy ideas for you to provide opportunities in your children's daily life to practice these math skills meaningfully. You can get your children to sort their socks according to designs or sizes or grab some biscuits and compare who has more biscuits in their hands or go for a fun shape hunt around the house look for basic shapes like circles, triangles, rectangles, squares Lastly, let your children play with blocks Blocks are wonderful toys for your children to develop spatial awareness this is the end of this video. I hope you find this video helpful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about teaching your preschoolers these basic math skills. Don't forget, you can grab these Kapak Math printables over at HP Printable website. The link is in the description below. Lastly, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more educational videos for parents. See you in my next video. Bye-bye!